voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. Hello, I am the Atheist Gamer, and today I'm gonna try something a bit different. Uh, lately my microphone has been nothing more than a piece of shit. Sometimes it works, and other times it doesn't. And this is one of the times which it works. Yeah, it's, I think it has a mind of its own. But today I'm gonna, you know, do something a bit unique. You know, I'm gonna start doing a little bit more vlogging rather than just simply making video responses because, let's face the facts, I can't always make a video response towards everyone. Sometimes I gotta just think, mellow out, gotta think. And, you know, um, there was something that I just wanted to bring up. And that is the, uh, the idea that Christina Hoff Summers is not a true feminist. I'm like, isn't it odd that a feminist is calling another feminist not a true feminist? Like, it's all so strange. Because, according to many feminists, if... If you fight for equality, if you believe in equality, then you're a feminist. So, how come Christina Hoff Summers is not a true feminist? How can she not? If she's not a true feminist, then that would imply that Christina Hoff Summers would want, and I repeat, would want women to be oppressed. Would want women to be nothing more than objects tools just simply dare to please a man and I doubt that I am very extremely doubtful that Christina Hoff Summers actually believed that shit and you know it's ridiculous that some of the feminists have gone out of limb to call Christina Hoff Summers a complete fucking moron when she made her video her rebuttal video against Anita Sarkeesian. Guess what the majority of the of the critics have said who are feminist? They insult her. They call her a bigot. They don't that sh they don't know that she don't know that sh that she's supporting the patriarchy or, or something like that. They all they did was insult her and call her a false feminist, which is completely and utter bullshit. <sighs> Seriously, how feminist do you have to be in order to be a feminist? Well, I suppose, according to them, you cannot question the common arguments that a feminist have made throughout history. And those arguments consist of the wage gap argument, which I have said this a thousand fucking times. It has been debunked. I am tired of the fucking wage gap argument. Every time I hear it, all I want to do is grab a whole bunch of kittens, put them in a bag, and drown them. You might think of me as some sort of sociopath, but when you hear something over and over again, eventually, I'm, you're going to go crazy. I'm surprised that I haven't gone crazy before. It's just a simple test of endurance. It's incredible that these feminists would come up with such dull, pathetic arguments. You see, what are the arguments that I can bring up? You know, the, the argument that women are being poorly treated in, 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 in media. You know, how they're being represented as they're, they're, they're just nothing more than sexual objects of desire. When in reality, men are just being objectified. And some of these feminists would say, well, yeah, men are being objectified, but it's not as often as women, which is complete utter bullshit. I mean, men have been objectified since the dawn of ages. Look at fucking art, you know, Greek art, 
consists of nothing more but half-naked men, or almost naked men. The only exception is, you know, maybe a scarf or two. But other than that, men have been been objectified. They've been posted in nude. And these feminists do not see that because they only care about one thing, the objectification of women. And, you know, some of the feminists may bring up that objectification is bad for both genders. I say that is also wrong because objectification is impossible to avoid. It, it, it's something that you do every freaking day. As soon as you turn on this, turn on your computer, as soon as you click on any of my videos and look at me, look at me directly. You are objectifying me because I am nothing more than ob nothing more than entertainment for all of you. It doesn't matter on whether or not you like me or hate me. It doesn't matter if you subscribe to my channel just for to troll me or to support me. It doesn't matter on what skin color you have or your gender or your sexuality. As soon as you click on my video, you objectify me. And that's fine. I don't care if you objectify me. I don't care if you see me as nothing more as a tool of, of entertainment. I don't care. Because it's part of human nature. But the feminists do not care about human nature. What they care is this. Money and the power that women should hold. Which is absolute bullshit. Now I'm just sidetracking here. Christina Hoff Summers. You know, I don't know her very well. I haven't spoke to her. You know, maybe... Maybe I'll send this video towards Christina Hoff Summers and then... Maybe she'll watch it, like the video. Who knows, promote me. I don't expect a heroic kiss. I mean, I'm not into older women. Um, but I've seen the report that the Investive Gamer has made on Christina Hoff Summers. And I usually tend to avoid feminists, but this feminist I want to keep in touch with. You know, she is smart, intellectual. She doesn't, you know, hide from criticism. She actually debates people. She, she talks to people on Twitter, so there's a good chance that she might ch chat with me. And who knows, maybe... She's she's possibly even more smarter than Anita Sarkeesian. In fact, yeah, she's far smarter than Anita Sarkeesian, with great confidence. Anita Sarkeesian doesn't, you know, um, debate. She doesn't defend her positions. No, instead, we have to have we have to deal with the stupid, pathetic social justice warriors. The the minions not the big guys but the miniature minions who suck massive fucking dick we have to deal with them well Anita Sarkeesian she gets to hide in her nice little bedroom with his boyfriend I mean with her boyfriend um Jonathan Mann let's face the facts these two have been fucking each other haven't they and don't debate at all. They'd rather tear their own skin off than to actually listen to any criticism whatsoever. They'd rather um, eat shit from the floor than to deal with criticism. They would rather blow up the entire fucking planet than to deal with criticism. You know, I, I give Christina Hoff Summers some credit. She may be a feminist, but she's a feminist that knows the bullshit that some of the other feminists have brought up time and time again. 
But apparently, towards these other feminists, not only do they disagree with Christina Hoff Summers, they also call her a fucking moron. And not a true feminist. Because she questions their own beliefs. I mean, does it not sound fucking familiar? Just think about it. If a Christian starts questioning his God, then you're not a true Christian. You're losing faith in God. You know, you're supposed to just fall in line and just expect, you just accept it is. Just accept that Jesus Christ just died for your sins. This is feminism. It's just, feminism is basically Christianity. It's just blind faith. We're just expected to, to, for them to be right. It's, does anybody not see that? That they're just a big fucking hive mind. That's all. Feminism is a big fucking hive mind. Either you're, you follow us completely, agree with us completely, or you're an evil sack of shit because you disagree with one, one thing. That is a common core argument of that of feminism. It's ridiculous, completely stupid, that these feminists would go this fucking far. Uh. Um, all I have to say is, you know, if a feminist cannot question the arguments that the, the common core arguments of that of a of, of the of a feminist then how can feminists you know have a discussion how can these feminists even be logical or reasonable it's ridiculous terrifying oh oh Oh, just needed a stretch. Been sitting on this chair for quite some time. You know, this is something that many of you guys may need to think about. You know, why feminists cannot question their own arguments? Because if they do, they question feminism itself to question an argument is to question the entire movement according to them. So Christina Hoff Summers, if you're watching this, I know you're probably in art, but in case you are, keep up the good work. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace. Game if you enjoy watching this video, click on the like button, subscribe to this channel for more videos, and of course you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and ugh, Google+. We all know Google+, fucking sucks.